It's our football Friday night. Oh, game of the week. I have always wanted to do that. What's up, everybody? Scott Reister. We are here at our game of the week. We got the Ankeny cheerleaders. I was really afraid I wasn't going to bust through the uh, Ankeny tunnel, but we made it. We made it work. That's the first step. Johnson is here. We have a great matchup for our game of the week. Can Ankeny keep it rolling? The Hawks have been soaring this season. Four and one. Dragons, great test. Let's take a look at what we have in store tonight here in Ankeny. Here come the Hawks. Ankeny has been on the short list of teams with a legit shot at state all year. At 4-1, they only give up 11 points a game, and they average 44 a night. QB Jace Bauer has 15 touchdown passes. And talk about targets, Colin Kadolf, Cade Summers, and Brody Brecht, who is headed to Iowa. And now another future Hawk guy was just ruled eligible yesterday. Man, I, I cried when I found out. Arlen Bruce IV can finally play after moving over from Kansas this summer. He should have an immediate impact tonight. No, it's just another weapon for us. I mean, we've been throwing for like together for a while. So I think our chemistry is pretty well um, down the road here. So I think I think we'll be good. Johnston knows how to pull the upset. Just asked seven-time defending state champ Dowling three weeks ago. Go. Iowa State bounds tight end Tyler Moore is a load. He catches over half the team's passes from Jack Rutz. 35 catches, 452 yards, and five touchdowns through five games. Senior Aiden Moore not only leads the Dragons with 202 yards rushing and five scores, but is far and away the team's top tackler at linebacker. Heck of a football player. He was a varsity starter a year ago as a linebacker, and this year he's got to play a lot of running back and linebacker. He's pretty vital to what we do. 